guys, so we are right outside the church today and I have some missionaries helping me out and we are going to take you on a tour of the church today. Times. Hey, what's up? Hey! Thanks. I'm taking all my people on the internet on this tour with me today and we are going to have a good time. Wow. Hey! There's some more missionaries here. Can I ask you guys a question? What's it like to come to church? It's awesome. Yeah, so... It's, it's pretty simple, you just come through here and then we have the chapel over there where we hold the first meeting and we can take the sacrament. So this is the chapel, this is where we have our sac meeting and this is a place where members will get up and speak and talk about Jesus Christ. If, if you don't want to get up and speak, you don't have to. Um, we also partake of the sacrament. And that's basically when we get baptized, we make promises to our Heavenly Father that we're going to be like, we're going to try to be like Jesus Christ. And, you know, sometimes we're going to make mistakes. And as we repent of those sins, we can take the sacrament and basically remake those promises to our Heavenly Father. And basically say we're going to try to do better and we're going to try to be more like Jesus Christ. So I can just go, like, do whatever the heck I want and then repent of it later? <laughs> Not exactly. So repentance is a change. It's not that I'm going to, you know, just try to, you know, get it washed away and made clean just because I can. It's that you're wanting to actually try to do better, try to make that change. I love that because I definitely believe in becoming something better through Christ. So I am going to ask Elder Ward here and all of these lovely missionaries. But I'm gonna ask the other ward here, what is the reason that you come to church? What keeps you going? What keeps you coming? Yeah, well, the reason I go to church is because I felt what it's like in my life to not have church. And it just like, feels like something's missing. That's, that's why I feel that. I'm here with Elder Linger, and I'm gonna ask him why he likes coming to church. So one of the reasons why I like coming to church is the peace that I can feel the peace of Christ, knowing that He is my Savior, my Redeemer, and that, that peace that He can bring to me and can bring to everyone. And what if I don't have nice clothes to wear to church? Come to church. It doesn't matter what you wear. There was a time my uncle, he worked and his he had to go from work straight to church and he didn't have time to go home and change into nice clothes. So he was coming to, you know, in just his normal work clothes. But it's important enough to come to church. It doesn't, that's what matters, not how you're dressed. As long as you're coming to, you know, worship Jesus Christ, learn of Jesus Christ, that's all that matters. And... Hi, Elder Watts. Why do you like coming to church? Well, I know that, uh, that Jesus Christ wants us to come to church and even though I'm not perfect I strive to to do the best I can and one of the ways I can do that is by coming to church every week. Church isn't just for members it's for everyone. Church is where we can learn of Christ, where we can rejoice in Christ and where we can uh, we, we invite everyone to come to church. Uh, if you ever look at a church building it's a big sign so visitors, visitors welcome. So. So, I have the last missionary with me here, and I'm going to ask them why they like coming to church. So, why do you like coming to church? Um, for me, I come to church because of the sacrament. And what's that? So, throughout the week, we repent of our sins. Whenever we make mistakes, we try to do better. Um, and that involves faith in Jesus Christ and coming to Him, trying to become more like Him, following His example. And then, at the sacrament, after we've been baptized, uh, each week, um, during the sacrament meeting, we partake of the sacrament and we're washed clean, just like we were at baptism, of all of our mistakes and sins. The priesthood meetings are uh, kind of the counterpart to the Relief Society. So they're the group of, this is where the group of all the men meet during uh, the same time the Relief Society is meeting. We get together and we also love to learn about Christ. It's just awesome to be nourished by the good word of God. And this is a room where the group called the Relief Society meets. It's made up of women ages 18 and up. And here they meet to share testimony of Jesus Christ and his gospel. A special room for it here. It's a pulpit where one person will speak and lead the meeting. And we'll as the meeting starts, people will fill it up with chairs. 
So I come to Relay Society and I enjoy Relay Society because I've made a lot of friends through Relay Society and they started to notice when I couldn't go to church when I was like in a lot of pain and they would text me, they would make sure I would get on all the, all the Zoom calls during COVID and I love them. I love the women of my ward. So this is the young men and young women's room. It's I know for me, young men's has helped me a ton growing up. Um, I was able to meet with other uh, guys who were my same age and we worked together, growing our testimonies of Jesus Christ and our love for him. So we are back in a primary room now and I'm going to have the elders tell you a little bit about the primary room. Where the children will come for the second hour and they have a bunch of different activities over here like singing time and then just also talk about different stories over in the Book of Mormon and the Bible and just teach about Jesus Christ. Primary is a really fun place. I've gotten to teach primary before. I loved the kids. It was really, really fun to show them like just these little nuggets of testimony and of truth. Here we have a cultural hall and uh, this is where we usually hold events. We can set up tables in here. We can open this room to be more seating for sacrament meetings. But I mean, the most fun thing to do in here is obviously to just shoot baskets and have a little fun. So today I'm grateful that I was able to get these four elders to help me out with this video because I want to invite you, yes you, watching this video to come to church on Easter Sunday and I promise that if you do that, you will feel the spirit, you will feel peace, you will have a place to find hope in the world and you can finally see for yourself the reasons I still try to be a missionary. We'll see you Sunday!